My name is Rebecca Gamble, and I'm functioning as the CEO of Embody Healing LLC. I am more commonly known as Laughing Crow in my clergy position. I actually came to gather some information. I am just learning about the petrochemical plant in the last few weeks, funny enough, from a colleague. Um, I got a very interesting phone call from someone else who owns a business in Pittsburgh, like I do, in the health and wellness industry, telling me that she was moving her company out of Pittsburgh because she heard of this plant and asking me if I was interested in also moving to another state because she had an opportunity for me. I sort of brushed that off. I didn't know what she was really talking about until I got a second call from another colleague doing the exact same thing. So I did some research and I found that we're looking at a petrochemical plant that, yeah, I listened to this presentation tonight and the amount of research and effort put in there was beautiful. But one of the things I noticed was this whole list of hazardous air pollutants was never even mentioned. These pollutants, according to Harvard, Pitt, and other universities, are associated with cancer, cardiovascular disease, autism, birth defects, asthma, autoimmunity, and other sicknesses. Wow. If this plant functions as it is supposed to without an incident, these chemicals will increase in the next five years, and then increase again in the next 10 years. So even if it functions properly, we're looking at just by breathing, people becoming sicker in Pittsburgh, where I'm trying to run a health and wellness business. So I have to decide, should I take my company and move it to another state where the air is cleaner? How many and the, people are in your company? We'll get there. <laughs> where the air is cleaner and the water is cleaner, or do I attempt to run a business whose product, which is health and wellness, will be compromised by this building of this petrochemical plant? On top of that, how can I ask people to come to a city? Because I host people from other countries, actually. Um, how can I ask them to come to this city and say, hey, we can help you get well and share information with you, but don't breathe. So I noticed as well, I mean, you have people here tonight. I wasn't intending to speak, so I didn't plan any of this. I apologize. <laughs> um, you have people tonight. Virginia mentioned the emergency response program, and yet two days ago, the Telegraph published an article about the Bodo oil spill that happened in 2008, 2009 from this exact same company, and they published an article two days ago talking about how it hasn't been cleaned up yet, and yet it's destroyed the economy in that area. So what are we talking about with emergency response? Because they're not demonstrating this in other areas. And then they're talking about just today asking for a waiver for the working hour conditions. <laughs> The, Insta the International Agency for Research on Cancer actually classified disrupted sleep and shift work as a group two carcinogen in 2007 because they were concerned about the amount of cancer, specifically breast cancer because of the changes in the chemicals in the brain uh, associated with disrupted sleep that is caused by sound and light, specifically light, that upsets the brain and its ability to function with its immune system. So I'm really confused. I'm looking at these papers saying, we have not even got the statement from the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection to decide whether this, is, whether this plant is even going to be allowed because of the amount of hazardous air pollutants being dumped into the air. And I haven't even gotten to the water yet. So I'm a new company in Pittsburgh. We've been here for about a year and a half. And I wasn't actually expecting to hire anyone. <laughs> so providing 30 jobs this year was a real blessing for me. And we're looking at tripling that within the next year. One, one minute. Do I want to stay here or do I want to take that elsewhere? And I'm trying to make that decision.